It is Tuesday night. I'm Gray Hall. Sorry, Williams will join you for the action news at 11. We begin here tonight with some breaking news. Police say two men in an SUV opened fire outside of a West Philadelphia rec center. Action News learning five people were injured in this shooting. Action News reporter Annie McCormick, she is live for us near this scene with the latest on this investigation. Andy, five people shot. What are you learning? Yeah, Gray, and that's right. And as far as the people that were firing, that's at least two people that were firing from that SUV as this investigation continues. They're working to find out how many people were firing. You can see there all of those evidence markers. More than 90 shots were fired. This all happened as kids' sports practices were going on at Shepherd Recreation Center, which is right here. Officers on patrol heard the shots fired and responded. Just before 7 p.m., shots fired near 57th and Haverford. Police say at least two men fired multiple rounds from a white SUV. That gunfire struck five people. They find five victims on scene. Uh, two are shot in the head, and three are shot, two, two in the neck, and one in the hand. Two of those five individuals have gun permits. Uh, two are shot in the head and currently critically injured. The other three are stabilized. According to police, two victims were on the sidewalk, another two on the street, and a fifth victim happened to be driving his BMW through the seat when gunfire erupted. Police say the gunman fled. The officers are routine patrol and they, they hear the shots. They see the males running back to the car, uh, masked and heavily armed. And the SUV they were riding in crashed just blocks away at Haverford and Farson. Inside, police found multiple guns, including rifles and handguns. The officers see a car fleeing from the scene with four males getting into the vehicle. They immediately go in pursuit of that vehicle. They chase it to a block of Farson Street. Uh, three persons are occupying. One runs into a house. All three males are taken into custody. And great. In addition to the guns that were recovered from that SUV that was involved in the crash, they also recovered several weapons here at the scene, including one that's described to me as having a drum magazine, which means that the shooter is able to fire even more rounds. Now, as for the victims, they do range in age from 16 to 25 years old. At last check, two victims are in critical condition and three victims are stable. Police are asking anybody with witness information or surveillance video to call 215-686-TIPS. For now, reporting live in West Philadelphia, Annie McCormick, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17.